Well, good morning and welcome to Central Church of Christ. We're glad you're here. Vacation Bible School is this week. So we have a zero on her. Uh, it's, it's here. And so we're super excited. Um, it's going to be packed in here this week. And so uh, let's just stand today. The whole theme of I am built for a purpose. And uh, what I was just, we are fearfully and wonderfully made. That is the passage of scripture uh, out of, of Psalm 139. And so this morning, just our songs are just going to be focusing on God as our creator. And when David wrote the psalm, he makes a comment. It's like, I am fearfully, wonderfully made. And one of the translations says, this is like hard for me to even comprehend how God has uniquely created each and every one of us. So let's just sing to our God, who is our creator God, our great and awesome and mighty God. Then sings my soul, my Savior God, to thee.
continue this thought of the worship of our creator, God, we are fearfully and wonderfully made. of reasons to give praise to our mighty God, um, not only for the creation that we see, because in Romans it says that, that it is in the creation that we see God, and he is revealed to us, but it's also in a lot of other realms that we get to see God. We see God in answered prayers. Uh, just an update on um, Doug's brother, RJ. He's doing well. He's just on a blood thinner now. There's Everything's getting monitored well, and, and so he's doing well. Um, Max and Mary Sue, God's hand was over you guys, it sounds like, this past week. So just the praises that we can give for the answered prayers that we have. And so let's just take a moment right now and just pause, if you will, just in silence. Just give thanks to God for something from your past week. What, where have you seen God? And just say thanks to God. Let's take a moment of silent prayer. Father God, we are so thankful for the many, many ways that we see you through creation, through answered prayers, through fellowship with one another. Father, we thank you that we can just give praise and glory and honor to you. We thank you that we can honor you as our creator and that even before we were born, even before we were knit together in our mother's womb, you knew all the days of our life and we give you praise. Thank you, Lord, for just your answered prayers. Thank you, Lord, for just being our creator. In Jesus' name, amen. You are the word at the 
He's Savior. He is our Maker, but He is our salvation as well. And as we gather around to get prepared to partake of communion this morning, let's just be thankful for the Maker who is our Creator, who is our Savior, as we sing this song. skies over empty place said let there be light to a dark and formless world your light was born you spread out your arms over empty hearts said let there be light to a dark and hope world your light was born. You made the world and saw that it was good. You sent your only son for you are good. What a wonderful Good morning. morning. Reading out of Mark chapter 14, verses 22 through 25. And as they were eating, he took bread, and after blessing it, he broke it and gave it to them and said, Take this, this is my body. 
and he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, and they drank all of it. And he said to them, This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many. Today I say to you, I will not drink again of the fruit of the vine until that day when I drink it new in the kingdom of God. It's not officially summer yet, but it feels like it. I was looking forward all winter, and now it's here. But, you know, some, somehow it feels hotter than it felt 50 years ago. I don't understand it. I used to put up hay all afternoon, but now I almost pass out just to mow the yard. It must be the climate change that we hear about. It, it couldn't be that I'm older, could it? You're supposed to laugh then. Anyway, my dad owned a yellow Kelly Ryan elevator. It was good for ear corn and grain, but it didn't work that well, well with small hay bales. I'm trying to explain this. It might be hard for people that didn't grow up in a farm, but I'm talking about hay bales that weigh, oh, 60 to 100 pounds. Uh, they're lodged and shaped, got wire or uh, twine there. They're not the big bales you see today. Uh, but uh, the Kelly Ryan elevator, it had paddles and a chain to bring the grain or hay, whatever, to the end of the elevator. This part was about this wide. Then it angled off, approximately like this, and it got slick after use. Anyway, he put one of those small bales in that and tried to take it up. He had to put it in like this so the edge of the bale would catch on the paddle. And if you didn't do it just right, when you got to the top, the bale would uh, become unattached to the paddle and slide all the way down. And then the farmer working on the hay rack would put a bale behind this one and it would help push it all the way up to the barn, hopefully. You know, our Christian life is kind of like that hay, ele hay elevator. Sometimes we slide back and sin and need a push to get back on track to the barn. Thank God that Christ died for us so we can be forgiven when we slide back down and need a push back up. Today, let us recall the sacrifice that our Lord did for us on the cross as we partake of the loaf and the cup. Shall we pray? Lord, thank you for the love you show us by your forgiveness when we slide down from our Christian walk. May our thoughts be with us now as we partake of this remembrance. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.
Let's pray. Father God, you're the creator and the maker of all things, the provider of all things good. We just thank you for all those things that you've provided to us. We just pray that you would uh, accept these gifts back. We know that, that we need to take care of them, to spread, their, spread your word, to help those around us. We just pray that that, uh, that might be done. We pray that you would bless these gifts and the giver. In Jesus' name, amen. And uh, Monica has a lesson for them, and as uh, they are doing that, I think, uh, Jan! Oh my goodness. Wait a second. Oh. I made this for my height. Uh, yeah. I, I just got to make sure I've got everything ready. You know, I've got good walking shoes. Yep, 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 yep. And, oh, 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 oh money. I got to have money. Yeah, yeah. Oh, water bottle. You know. Yep, I got my sunscreen and, oh, I can't go anywhere without this. Or I should, <laughs> yeah, my sunglasses. Where, where are my sunglasses? Where are my sunglasses? Hi, Dan. Hi. So I can't find my sunglasses. What, what are you talking about? Well, I got to have this stuff. Where's my sunglasses? I got to have them. You, you look like you're getting ready to go somewhere. Yeah. Well, okay, yeah. Where are you yeah. going? Yeah. Oh, oh, here's my hat. Here's Great. my hat. There's your hat. Oh, wait. There's my sunglasses. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So I got my hat, yeah, and, and lip gloss because I don't want to burn my lips. Oh, you that'd know? be terrible. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to go somewhere. Yeah. Where are you going? Well, a week from Tuesday, okay. all the ladies of the church are invited to go on a ladies' day out. <laughs> and we're going to leave uh, from the church and we're going to go over to Deaf Mission. Oh, I've never been there. Me either. Oh, so you know, I've been a member of this church for over 20 years. And I've never been there. No, me either. And we're going to have a VIP tour led by Joe Kruger. Oh, I love Joe Kruger. Yep, it, it will be great. <laughs> and then, because we have to do this, we're going out to eat. Of course. Somewhere yeah. fabulous, <laughs> I'm <laughs> sure. But not too expensive. Oh, good. Yeah. Good. yeah. Wouldn't want to break the law. No, no. And then after that, we're all going to go to... Um, Loretzen Gardens. Oh, Lawrence you ever been there? I have. It's very nice. Oh, yeah. We don't get to see the stinky plant, though. I mean, we'll see it, <laughs> but it won't be stinky. Oh, okay. Good. Um, and and um, it, it, that costs $10 to okay. get in, but then you have to have three more dollars to ride the tram, which you will want to yes. ride the tram yes. because it's a big place. Yes, it is. So it's well worth it. But you ride the tram, you get off, you walk around a little bit, and you get back on the tram and walk, you know. So it's really cool. Anyway, um, so have you signed up yet? I haven't signed up yet. Oh, where do well, I sign? Yeah, well, okay. out out in the lobby, there's a sign up sheet. Please put your name down. If you can't find that, find Nancy Potter or Denise Limke. They're kind of in charge of this whole thing, and um, they just need to know how many are coming so they can kind of warn the restaurant. Oh, yeah, because <laughs> yeah, they might, need to might warn have us. 25 of us. Might have. <laughs> Yeah, you know, more. We don't know. Yeah. So do that. Okay. That's great. Is there an age limit? 
Can I go? Can I, oh, can yeah. anybody go? Well, yeah, any oh, any okay. lady of the church can go any age and don't, you know, don't worry about driving over there. We'll meet here and like about 9:15 so we can get on the road at 9:30. Oh, sounds good. And we'll take the church van if we can. Oh, We've right. got some minivans that hold people. So, if you're worried about driving in the city, don't. Somebody'll drive you there. Okay. So that's really great. And I think you answered the question, what time do we leave? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. So, yeah, be here 9:15. 15. So we can leave at 9.30. On Tuesday, June 13th. 13th. Yes. And we'll leave by 9.30. Um, and Nancy promised we'd be back home by 5. So it'll be an all-day thing. So I do hope you'll sign I, up. I'm planning to. And, I'm gonna go and out it's going to be a fun day. And I hope the rest of you do, too. Yeah. So anyway, Sounds good. you want to make sure you've got everything in I your got, bag, yeah. you know, and, and that you're ready to go. Okay. Because it's really going to be fun. You ladies are going to get tired carrying all that stuff all day. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Some of you have purses that big. Uh, anyway, anyway. Hey, um, just a few things before we get into the message today. If you uh, will notice it, the bottom announcement at the end of the worship service, if you could help us stack chairs, everything but the back three rows. I'll say it now, but if they get stacked, that's all right. So if we could stack all these front chairs, because we're going to open this area up for Vacation Bible School. Also for VBS, there is a sign-up sheet out here. Next Sunday, we are having a lunch following worship service. We need chips, family-sized bags of chips. There's a sign-up sheet out there for that. And then also there is a sign-up sheet that's not for VBS. But guys, trip to the Royals. Uh, check that out and uh, be a part of work where you want to and what you can do, be here for Vacation Bible School. This year, you want to pop up the VBS picture. Maker Fun Factory, created by God for a purpose. I am really excited about the theme of this thing and the fact that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalm 139, verse 13 through 14 says, For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you. Because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. And there's another translation that says, I just, it's kind of beyond my comprehension. I know that, but I don't totally understand that. Vacation Bible school is a ton of fun. I love it. I love getting all decorated and all the stuff that we have. So you see there's rooms that are like blocked off for now because there's surprises for the kids in there. But one of the things that I love about Vacation Bible School, it's not just for kids. It's for the whole church family. And so today what I want to do, kind of like I traditionally do, the Sunday before BBS is to share with all of you, because I know some of you, your jobs, you cannot get away, you can't be here to help with it, but there are some things that you can do even if you're unable to be here during... Yeah, no. So anyway, there are some things that you can do, all of us can do throughout this week. This is one of the biggest events that we have as, at Central Church of Christ is bringing kids in. If you remember back in March when we hosted the Rural Church uh, Conference, Gary Johnson was here and he gave a statistic that I think is the reason why we do VBS. The statistic is this, 85% of people who make a decision for Christ do so between the age of 5 and 14. 85%. So if we can get kids together and we can share the love of Jesus with them, then we have a great opportunity to, to plant the seeds of what it means to become a follower of Christ. And one of the fun things about VBS is all of the little characters that we get introduced to. I love the program that we use or the material that we use because we get introduced to some rather interesting creatures that I didn't know anything about, but we, those creatures are called Bible buddies. So let me introduce you to some of the Bible buddies of VBS. This is Decker, okay? Decker the crab. He is actually a decorator crab. This is the cartoon drawing, but... Google search these. There's some amazing videos about these creatures that God has created. 
psalmist says, I am fearfully and wonderfully made. God's creation is fearful and wonderful. Decker is this interesting little crab. You notice he's got starfish on him and snails and seaweed and stuff. You know, the decorator crab actually takes things from the seafood floor and decorates itself to protect itself. And so we realize that God made you. That's a Bible point that we have. And each time that the kids hear this Bible point, they're supposed to yell this phrase. The phrase is, wow, God. Okay? So I want everybody to practice with me. For those of you be here, so you hear it. God made you. And we go, wow, God. Very good. Wow, God. I think you ought to go like this. Make the W sign like So anyway, wow, God, W-O-W. Uh, if you do this, it's mom. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> weird. Decker is our first day. So tomorrow we're learning about Decker. And there's a Bible story that goes with each one of these. Monica is our Bible teacher, and uh, she loves putting, the, putting them together. But Psalm 139. And in your notes in the back of the bulletin are the major scriptures. Here's what I want to challenge you to do. Start this afternoon and read that scripture so you know what the kids are going to be focused on the next day. So God lovingly creates people. Decker, the decorator, dec decorator crab. Then we have another little critter. Her name's Tina. She's a termite. We don't like termites in our area. We do all kinds of things to kill termites. But Tina the termite is an amazing cathedral termite. Termites are busy builders. In fact, the, the termites, the cathedral termites, if you ever get to go to a rainforest, I guess they will build these massive, massive mounds. And the termites are very important for the forest floor. They keep the forest floor aerated, otherwise it dies. And so they're very, very important. But the, the, because they work so hard, they will travel great distances in order to get food. Tina the termite is this tiny little termite, and it will travel as far as 250 feet away from its cathedral house in order to get food. You think, okay, 250 feet. That's like from that end of the, par the parking lot to that street over there. That's not very far. But think about the size. Put it in perspective for us. You're hungry. It's about lunchtime. You have to walk five miles. Walk five miles to go get lunch. And Tina the termite will do, do the walk because she's such a builder. She's an amazing thing. The Bible truth that we hear or we find is this. God is for you. Joshua, there, say, hey, somebody's, somebody's been here for VBS. Whoa, God, all right. Anyway, God is for you. Okay. Joshua, we see that Joshua is challenged and encouraged. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, for the Lord your God is with you. We see in Hebrews that it says, uh, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you. I really love the themes of this year's VBS. Three weeks ago when it was graduation time, I got an email blog uh, sent to, to pastors, and it says the top five things that graduates want to hear from their pastor. Number one was, God loves you, God made you. And I thought this really appropriate. It's not only for our graduates as they go on into life, but we, from our little kids, and even us as we grow older, we need to be reminded of these amazing truths. God made us, and God is for us. And so there's a third little character, not so little actually. This is Bubba. I love the name. Bubba the Hunchback Well. Bubba the Hunchback Well is a maker of music. Apparently the Hunchback Well has the most mysterious and actually one of the loudest sounds of a creature uh, God has created. The seas are filled with the sound of the Hunchback Well. And so they will make this mysterious song that they have. And Bubba is going to teach the kids this biblical truth. God is always with you. All right, you're starting to catch on. You're starting to catch on. I've got to find my notes. Bubba, 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 Bubba. That page not yet. This page now. All right. 
Judges chapter 6, we see the story of Gideon. Gideon. And Gideon thought he was the smallest, his tribe was smallest. He was pretty insignificant, but God was always with him. So then there's day four. Day four, I love this character. This character is one that I've never heard of. You ever heard of a bower bird? A bower bird. Especially look up the bower bird on Google. The bower bird, this is Skylar. And the reason I kind of like it, because that's the name of our oldest son, actually spelled the right way that our oldest, we spelled our son's name, S-K-Y-L-E-R, Skylar. So we had to call him yesterday, and he said, I mean they took the rights? Anyway, because <laughs> he thought he was a one of a kind. He truly is. But anyway, this is Skylar, the bower bird. The bower bird is, is quite the decorator, actually. They're primarily in Australia, but they're quite the decorator. The bower bird in order to attract a mate, will build these elaborate nests. The notes from, from group says they could have their own show on HGTV because they do things spazzy and fancy and well-organized. Google it. I, seriously, it's really amazing. Just look at the pictures. A bower bird will knit together all this thatch, and they will make these elaborate nests with perfect archways and crisscross that and then they decorate out front and it's amazing this one picture I saw had this pile of blueberries over here and over here was this all red things some of it looked like trash you know but they they was all color coordinated amazing to me that God gives this bird this ability to kind of take this stuff and it's all to attract their mate and it's just like um, but God made them creative. He created them to be creative. And one of the things, this day especially, is I think one of the most important days of VBS. Some of the kids that have Monica for now, their sixth year, they say, oh, it's Thursday. What's on Thursday? The story on Thursday is always the same. It is this. God is, will always love you. Jesus died and he rose again. And without that story... We have no reason to be here. Without that story, we have no hope. So God will always love you. And he gives us that love. Uh, he demonstrated that love. And that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And so this is Skylar, and he shows us that thought. On Friday, we have Abby. A B B E E. <laughs> Abby. Abby is an incredible Mason bee. I didn't realize there were all these different kinds of bees. That's why I loved about this curriculum. It, it teaches us all these different, different kinds of characters. All Mason bees tuck their eggs into special little nests, but, Abby, but Abby's are particularly unique. And scientists still can't figure out really what is the meaning behind it. And that is a very good point for us. Sometimes we may wonder, what is the reason God has created me? Why am I here? What am I really supposed to be doing? But the Bible point is this. God made you for a reason. God made us all for a reason. And I think one of the greatest opportunities we have, the reason that God has given us this week, is for us to, to show the love of Jesus to show the love of God to our children, that God is, a, is a, a creative God. He loves us. He cares for us. That God wants us to share that love to, to children. And so this week, I want to just challenge you with four things to do, and they're in your bulletin as well, but it's this. Pray every day. Read the scripture that are in your bulletin. Start like today, so then you can read for tomorrow morning. Then tomorrow afternoon, start for the day for Tuesday. And on and on through the list. But start every day and just read these stories of, of God, um, or read the stories, but then pray over those stories. There's a lot of people are involved in VBS. You see many of us here with these, whatever this color is, uh, shirt. But anyway... It takes a lot of people to do VBS, but pray every day. If you're here or even if you can't be here, pray for VBS, if you would. Secondly, um, help me out, Adam. My remote died, apparently. All right? Volunteer. 
there's still time. I mean, Teresa's is here. She puts you to work. She puts you to work. One of the ways you could volunteer even today is just stack chairs. But we still have classrooms because we had Sunday school this morning. We couldn't totally destroy all of our classrooms before Sunday school today. So there's tables, couches, and things to be moved down the hall. So if you could stick around a few minutes afterwards, that would be great. Um, third, invite. We're at around 100, over 100. Last I knew it was 97, but I heard it's gone up from there already, uh, which is really amazing. Our goal was to have 117. We're going to way bypass that. I firmly believe that. So invite. If you know a kid in your neighborhood, get them here. Be here with them. Be, have, uh, be here next Sunday. Our worship service next Sunday is just going to be the culmination of this whole week. In the past, we've, tried, we've done the program during Sunday school, but next week, we're going to do it during our worship service. And so hopefully you can be here, and we're going to pack the front of this place with kids. And it's going to be loud, it's going to be chaotic, but it's going to be amazing. Because the whole week, we have that opportunity to share Jesus with this group of kids. And so they're going to just give a chance for you. You heard it beforehand you're going to get a chance to hear them kind of share these points from their perspective next week. So be here next Sunday morning. We're not going to have Bible school hour, um, so, but still plan to come a little early. The hospitality center is going to be open with cookies and stuff. Get acquainted with somebody you don't know. That's an, it's so important. Get acquainted with somebody you don't know. And we're going to start the program at our worship service time and then a lunch afterwards. It's going to be a fun, fun-filled day. So, be here and share, share with us. VBS is amazing, and uh, especially this theme, that Maker Fun Factory, we are all fearfully and wonderfully made. But I want to read to you Psalm 139 from the contemporary English version. As I, it just says so much about our Creator God. We focused on Him as Creator, as our Savior, as all these different ways. But notice what David says, kind of in a language of a little kid. You have looked deep into my heart, Lord, and you know all about me. You know when I am resting and when I am working. And from heaven you discover my thoughts. You notice everything I do and everywhere I go. Before I even speak a word, you know what I will say. And with your powerful arm, you protect me for every side. I can't understand all this. Such wonderful knowledge is far above me. Where can I go to escape from your spirit or from your sight? If I were to climb to the highest mountains, you would be there. If I were to dig deep into the earth of the dead, to, to the world of the dead, you will also be there. Suppose I had wings like the dawning day and flew over the, across the ocean. Even then, your powerful arm would guide me and protect me. Or suppose I said, I'll hide in the dark until night comes to cover me over. But you see, in the dark because daylight and dark are all the same to you. You are the one who put me together inside my mother's body. And I praise you because of the wonderful way you created me. Everything you do is marvelous. Of this I have no doubt. Nothing about you is hidden from you. I was secretly woven together deep in the earth below, but with your own eyes you saw my body being formed. Even before I was born, you have written in your book everything I would do. Your thoughts are far beyond my understanding, more than I could even imagine. I try to count your thoughts, but they outnumber the grains of sand on the beach. And when I awake, I will find you nearby. How I wish you were to kill all cruel and heartless people and protect me from them. They're always rebelling and speaking evil of you. You know how I hate everyone who hates you, Lord, and refuse to obey. They are my enemies too, and I truly hate them. Look deep into my heart, God, and find out everything I am thinking. Don't let me follow evil ways. 
but let me or lead me in the way that time has proven to be true. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. Children are fearfully and wonderfully made. And with your prayers, this is going to be an amazing week. Father God, we thank you that you know our thoughts. You see us before we are created. You know the number of our days. You know the words we say. You know so much about us. And Father, we thank you so much that you know us. Father, we, we just submit ourselves. We submit our church before you, this facility before you, the space that we will fill with children before you. That, Father, you will move mightily in this week. That there would be seeds planted and that they will find fertile soil. That that we would see decisions made for you throughout this week. Know that Jesus died for a purpose, that we might have the hope of eternal life. Father, I just thank you so much for this week. I thank you for Teresa. I thank you for the entire staff of people. Many are seen, many are, most are unseen. But Father, we thank you that we know that this, this week could not have happened by just one of us, but it took all of us. And so, Father, will you just use this week? Father, also we thank you that you know us, and you know our name, and you call us by name. You've written our name in the palm of your hand, Scripture says. You love us that much. You want to remember us. So, Father, thank you so much for these thoughts. Help us to cherish them in our own lives. In Jesus' name. Amen. We're going to close with a song that is one of the videos, video songs that the kids will learn this week. We've sung it, uh, but uh, let's just sing along with this. And as you sing it, will you just be mindful that Jesus Christ knows your name? Let's stand as we sing this song. Adam? <laughs> Pray for this week. Make sure you stop and check out the sign-up sheets. There is a sign-up. We need cookies only. Uh, so there's, we need like 20 